We finally get to do more Chandelier! <laughs> Greetings, owners of fine luxury cardboard rock tangles. Rark tangles. I broke my brain with my howl at the beginning of the video. We are here for Chandelier. Action. All right, you ready for some more Chandelier? You ready for another deep dive? Where are we going? How is this white red deck gonna evolve? Well, let's hop on over and watch some gameplay. All right, well, let's see what happens when we resume the game, considering last time I played the game crashed out. This should leave me pretty much exactly where I was. Here we go, bum bum bum. A chance for redemption. Bah, 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 wow, that's super loud. Let's uh, let's take that down a notch. Let's take it. <laughs> let's let's calm down with that one, buddy. Let's let's relax. All right, here we go. Oh, one mountain, one mountain. It's okay though. This is the redemption arc. I'm making up for last time with all the oasis mistakes. We're gonna get it this time. We're gonna get it. All right, excellent. Okay, not too shabby. Not too shabby. We're gonna try. We're gonna try and get the win this time. Try and get the win. Oh, last time was such a nightmare. But we got our pikemen. We got a Benelish hero and a Tundra rules. So we can fall. <laughs> Stop plowing my creatures. Stop plowing my creatures, son. Stop it. Although he's used a two point circle white. What? Thank God my deck is two colors. What is... Oh, man. Everything is against me. Uh, <laughs> I need to take advantage of this stuff, too, in all honesty. A circle white's pretty devastating against a monocolor deck. I'm glad to not be playing monocolor, but... There's no point in attacking now, because he'll just pay to prevent the damage. We're going to be here a while. Bird Maiden. Probably should have cast the Hurlum Minotaur. But, banking on him not playing a flying creature. Start doing some damage. Alright, in we go. First Blood. Yeah, I'm not going to prevent the damage to my opponent, alright? That's one thing I like about Arena. Arena gives you very few stupid options. Whereas Chandelar lets you do the, like, hey, are you dumb? Do you want to prevent the damage to your opponent? No, I don't want to save Mr. Circle White over there. I want him to die a miserable death. That's what I want. I want him to just be unhappy and lose. Get beat down. Get beat down. Thank God we have two colors in this deck. Otherwise, this would be a nightmare. I don't even think I have a disenchant. I do have a shatter. Well, let's get rid of that uh, ivory cup while we... Have the opportunity to stop him from uh, stop him from gaining that extra life. And actually, it looks like next turn with the bloodlust, we should have it. Depending on what's get what even like even if they play like one creature, whichever creature doesn't get blocked, they can bloodlust. Although I do need to be afraid of things like reverse damages and such. So I'm just gonna play it. I'm just gonna play it safe for now. All right, I think we've got this one locked up now. This is a good start. The good start for today's episode. The next episode. Let's do it. Oh, great! A realm of preservation. A circle black and a circle red. Resurrection wall of spears. That is quite nice. Thank you. Okay, I have no idea what I was in the middle of doing, so. Gotta recalibrate. I don't really care about seeing a deck list. Alright, let's uh let's see, is there anything that we want to put in the deck? We have a circle white and we're not running it when we're running into white decks. But we do have the the friggin' red ward in here. I'm making some questionable choices. Um Putting this in will give us a leg up against You know what, for now, let's just take out all the anti-certain color cards, and we'll leave it like that. We'll just leave it like that, and then when I'm getting ready to hose down, uh, getting ready, when I know I'm getting ready to hose down a particular color, then I'll come in with the stuff that's primed to smoke it. 
Prime to smoke it, but for now we'll leave it as is. But we will definitely acquire these cards that will allow us to totally color hose people. White is a fantastic color that can color hose everything in the early days of Magic. Alright. Seeker. You know what? The hell Shatsuka has not done enough for us. Let's get rid of that. Do we want another morale in there? Sure. Why not? Uh, let's put another planes in too. There we go. Alright, we'll leave it like this. Begin a quest. Defeat a paladin for two white amulets. I'll pass. I will pass on that for now. Spectral arena. A moat? Oh, a moat and a shivin? Oh, God, we need to win. Oh, God. The, wa the want to win is very real. Oh, but the opponent we're playing against is Beefcake. So this will be... Uh, this will be interesting. Oh, first turn, Man of Vault and a Mistress Factory. When we don't have anything in our hand, we can even cast. This is a really inauspicious start. Well, at least at least we got the Brothers of Fire now and the Wall Spears. If we get one more mana, we can cast those. And if we get a white mana, it opens up. Yikes. Just yikes. Oh, he's going to be able to do some beefcake stuff. Some copy in the mana vault. Oh, Lord, and a shapeshifter of 5-2. Oh, help me. Help. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh God. Oh, my God. In two turns, we're going to be dead. We're dead next turn. We're dead next turn unless we get a land or something that solves this problem. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's all over already. It's all over already. Why not make me discard as an added insult? Why not? Why not? Yeah, look at you back there with your Jesus fish stamped on your forehead. What? What? You, what? You've got a fish on your forehead, lady. You got It looks like you're like in love with him. Is that your man? Does he shape shift up inside of you? Oh, how disappointing! How disappointing! Should we fight this guy? Nah, you know what? Let's let's not for now. Oh, a burrowing versus a duel? I'll do that. I thought I took all the colors to out, so the burrowing not being in my deck for this game because it's in the ante is okay. It's okay by me. All right. First turn planes with nothing to do. Second turn pikeman. At least we're gonna cast something this game, unlike the previous match where we just lost horrifically. At least there was nothing on the line there. Aside from the disappointment of knowing you're not getting a moat and a shivan dragon. But I don't play reload style. I take the game as it comes, man. I take the game as it comes. The only time I get a do-over is if the game accidentally breaks and I have to I have to abort it and come back. Oh, a time walk, of course. Of course you have a time walk. I'm over here with my pikeman and death ward, and you're over there with your dual lands and time walk. Have I mentioned how fair this game is? How fair and balanced it is. Oh! Oh, the joy! The glory! Oh, good. You have a creature to block right away. That feels nice. That feels nice. One four as well. Well, take all the time you want. Go ahead and develop your amazing strategy while I fumble around with what I have. At least I've got an angry mob and he's got swamps. So, that's something. Another wall of bone. Great. Great. And he's got enough mana to regenerate it. Well, the angry mob at least. I mean, look at it. It's already a 4-4. Four, four. So we get another land, and at least we can send that in, and it can trample over the defenders. Or not, if we get an... Oh, Seeker! <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Are you kidding me? Seeker! Can't stop the seeker. Can't be blocked except by artifact and white creatures. That just means artifact creatures with your deck, son, because I don't think you have white creatures. So angry mob coming to dinner. Oh no, Mahamodi. That's pretty beefy, I gotta admit. But I do have the I do have the upper hand right now. Like, depending on what happens. Depending on what happens here, I can still totally win this. Like, if he can't block the angry mob or take care of it on my turn, that's a win. Yeah! Come on, baby! Come on, baby! 
Yeah, yeah, we got him. We got him. Can't stop the seeker. This angry mob is a heat seeking missile. Mm, two duels, son. Two duel lands. Ta da. How are we doing for food? Uh, we got plenty of food. All right. Ooh, Clockwork Beast is pretty fat. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. What kind of a quest do you have? Take this message north to Hall Hornwall Tavern. That's not too far. We'll accept that quest. I accept your quest. We'll get another mana link. That's good times. We'll put in the Clockwork Beast and we'll yank the Burrowing for now. Uh, sell that Sandstorm. Now I got Darude Sandstorm stuck in my head. <laughs> Lore Master's Tower. Which of these require two white and two colorless mana to cast? Well, Kismet's one white and three colorless. Osai's a white and a colorless. Red Ward's one white. Animate Wall is one white. And Seeker is two white, two colorless. As you know, because the Seeker is what we were using to win that last game. Oh, and another free duel, son! Thank you. Oh! Ooh, ooh! Death Ward, no, we'll pass on the Death Ward. But that Wall of Swords is such a sweet score in this. Oh, thank you. Thank you, baby, thank you. Alright. We got a decent amount of dualies here. Okay, so we gotta head on up to Hornwall Tavern to increase our life total again. You walk so slow. I do not like it. Nomad's Bazaar. Oh, I wish I had more money. Oh, I wish I had more money. Okay. Um, how much are like fireballs and disintegrates? Disintegrate, 110 bucks. Fireball, 95 bucks. All right, give me a, give me a fireball. And a Hercules recall to sell, no problem. All right, so let's put the fireball into the deck. Let's sell Hercules recall. There are green creatures right outside here. We could put that green ward on and try mess. Uh, yeah, you know we're on our way to get the mana link. Let's do it. Oh, Hornwall Temple is under attack. All right, all right. Well, let's go and get our mana link. See what's available for sale. Nothing for us. Trade a green amulet for blue cards. That's useless to us. Quest for blue cards. No thanks. Okay, so where's the place that's under attack? We're never going to be able to walk there. We may as well try and defend the town. So what are we fighting against? It's a witch. So it's a black deck. We'll put in our greater realm of preservation to give us slightly better odds. <coughs> We've already got the angry mob in there, so... Uh, do I really want... Nah, you know what, I'll leave it as it is. I'll leave it as it is. Alright. Sweet. Oh, sweet! Oh, sweet! Dude, multiple levels of sweetness. Blue amulet for any fast effects. We can get a lightning bolt for our deck before we even start this fight. Make our odds a little bit better here. Alright, so in... We pop in the lightning bolts, and... The other Seeker, because it makes our stuff unblockable, and that's fantastic. Get that Yoshin Soldier going in as well. Uh, do I really want the Death Ward and the Guardian Angel? I don't think I do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell that stuff off. We'll leave it like that. Okay. Focus! Oh, the Tome of, Enlight the Tome of Enlightenment's here? Oh, that lets you make Degenerate decks. We need that item. Alright, let's duel her. Let us duel. I guess I should have played the mountain first with the lightning bolt, but it doesn't really matter. Look at that, we gotta... If we get, if we get some lands, this is a decent hand. This is alright, actually. They're only... The, the witch only has 10 hit points. We're not facing off against a really super strong opponent here. So... Between the... Orcish Artillery, Brothers of Fire, Yoshin Soldier, everything that we have here, it really does look like I can bring it. I can bring it. Although this is the chick who has, a, I think, a ton of regenerating stuff and discs, so that could be a problem. But we've just got to punch through. And even if it is a bunch of regenerating stuff, the Brothers of Fire and Orcish Artillery have the ability to go completely around that. So there is that. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've got a lightning bolt and a fireball as well. So the deck is definitely the deck is definitely improved so far today. This is definitely a better run than previous than yesterday, I should say. I have I already had a wall of swords. I have two wall of swords. Well, that makes me extra happy. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we will attack with this, this, and this. And we're going to actually kill the clay statue before blockers can be declared. There we go. Yeah, that's sweet. The brother, the Brothers of Fire give us some nice ability to ping and fling damage, and that will make a huge difference for this game. A huge difference. Oh, we're laughing. We're laughing. This is great. This is great. Drop the Orcish Artillery. And it looks like we've got this one. Between the Orcish Artillery, tap into to do two damage. To do two damage! And the lightning bolt to finish it off. We've pretty much got it here. Although I'm not sure if um, if this deck plays some uh, like the simulacrum. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stagger the damage. I'll do the orcish artillery before my turn, and then on my turn I'll do the bolt for the win. Unless they tap out, in which case then I'll just go bang and bang. Here we go. I here we go, y'all. I here we go. Village saved, y'all. I here we go. Wow, if I was playing black, those would be a sweet score. And extra food. Very nice. Well, we want to get enough money to buy the thing that's here, but we also don't have enough cards to worry about making a degenerate deck, so... Don't have quite enough. We need 750 gold. So let's explore Circle Black, yeah, yeah. All right, now let's take out the Greater Realm because we don't need that right now. So Hornwall Temple. Who knows when we'll be back down in this area, so we may as well try and build up some money through winning winning some fights. You know what? Screw it. Let's put the... Um... Oh, wait, is that a white creature? Yeah, let's fight you. You have a better chance of giving us something we can use. Ooh, Meek Stone. <laughs> I wasn't given the choice to uh, to bribe the opponent here. I must be too close to the White Tower right now. The White Castle, I should say. The White Castle! Oh! Things are falling out of my desk here. I'm getting too caught up in what's going on. Alright. Looks like we're, we need... Uh, we need red mana, and we need cheaper spells right now. Oh, we need red mana! Oh, we need... Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's, um... Let's lightning bolt this, because the fireball can be split and used to take out bigger threats. Or be more of a surprise swing. Had to get rid of that blessing, though, while we have the opportunity. Because that the pump on the blessing gets gross. That Benelish was going to do some serious damage. Blessing's an amazing card. I remember how much I loved it back in the day. When I played my straight white text, it's like, boom, here you go. It's like I'm crazy fire breathing. I'm just a holy man, and I'm going to pump your face. Pump your face full of holiness. Well, Seekers aren't terribly useful against white decks here, unfortunately. So the Seeker's a dead card, but meh, whatever. I still have Mishra's War Machine in my deck. I need to sell this thing. I need to get rid of it. I got the Clockwork Beast. It's arguably better than this Mishra's War Machine, so... Oh, Meek Stone. Let's just shatter that, shall we? Let's just shatter that Meek Stone. I don't feel like having it so my clay statue doesn't untap. Kind of makes it suck. <laughs> the only artwork on old Magic Cards is so wonky. This clay statue is so goofy looking. What's he doing? Hugging a light? I'm hugging a light. This is my night light. So I want you to see the words on my chest so I always carry a light. Oh, another meat stone. Get out. Get out. Well, the fireball come in handy. Being able to split it up to destroy all these little hoobity jubities. Oh, God. Never mind. Never mind. We're going to fireball the hell 
out of this battleish. Two blessings. It's so obnoxious. And those guys have first strike. Oh god. Why game? Why? I'll just take it. I'll just take the damage, punk. Okay. More, more little dongalores. The en endless supplies of dongalores. Here we go. Let's go. Morale! Yeah! Well, now the clay statue's not gonna untap. You're not gonna swing? Okay. Okie dokie. Alright. Now we've got a big beefcake to threaten him with, and also the ability to respond and destroy any creature that gets a blessing slapped on it or something like that, so. That feels all right. Oh, Misha's War Machine's so garbagey with a Meek Stone out. I don't, I don't even want to play it, or it's just going to punish me every turn. Ah! All right. Execute. Execute. And do I want to take away Banning, or is can't be blocked by bigger creatures? We'll take away his Banning. Oh, two Seekers. Whatever. Can't fight the Seeker! May as well play it, you never know. He might have a disenchant or something he's going to use on it. You have to discard a card every turn in Mishra's War Machine. That's so janky. So janky. Hey, Dancing Scimitar! Yeah! That's a nice score. A nice defensive score. Ooh, Clockwork Beast, hello. You're big. If there's a way to get you through, then we're going to be doing all right. I guess that means that since that's ready to be on the defense, we can poke in the air again, which is nice. All right, things are, things are turning around. Things are turning around. Clockwork Beast can't block Amru, though, which does suck. Hmm... Do I want to wait until I have something to block Amru before I keep swinging in the air? Yeah, now I need to. Now I need to. Let's just, whatever. Let's put a seeker on the clay statue. Who cares? All right. Now I need to hang back because the math gets bad for me. If I swing for one, he swings for three, and I'll lose too fast. I will lose too quickly at this rate. Ah. Well, at least if he tries to beef up both Amru, stop it! Stop playing creatures, please. Praise. I'm going to keep that planes in my hand for now. I may end up putting out that Mistress War Machine depending on what, what happens. So having some fodder in my hands. Oh, alright. Okay, alright. Uh, I guess we'll take out the 2-2 two, two one. Alright, put all the damage on the scimitar and lose nothing. He's got untapped, two untapped Thanos weaponries. Okay, let's see here. How do we want to block? With two untapped Thanos weaponries. Um, well, let's make it so that he's going to lose at least one creature in this exchange. Oh, wow, okay, awesome. <laughs> That's better than I expected. A Brothers of Fire or something like that would come in real handy right now. Alright, let's go... You block you... And you... And you... And let's see what happens. But it does make dumb choices. Uh, do I want to attack? Yeah, why not? I mean, they're they're at five right now. And I'm tapped out, which hopefully will encourage them to swoon. Yikes! 
Okay, that doesn't matter now. We win. All right, sweet. We got it. We got it. Woo, we found a path through. We found a path through. Oh, land tax. Sweet mama la jumbla. Land tax. What a score. Dude, that's awesome. Let's sell the meat stone. Um, uh, do we really need burrowing? No, not really. Oh, we're so close to having enough to pay for that uh, that book. Let's do it. Let's sell the Mistress War Machine. Let, oh, damn it. This stuff keeps falling out of my desk. Okay, so it was Hornwall Temple. We're going to go and buy that right now because we want that tome. We may not use it immediately. Uh, mm, yeah, okay. I will fight you. I'll fight you, bro. I'll fight you, bro. Alright, this seems like a pretty decent starting hand in all honesty. Orcish Artillery and Lightning Bolt give us some nice board control. And it looks like we're going to have to start out right away with the Bolt. Get rid of that Lord of Atlantis. As it will beef all of his other little donkey merfolk. His little donkey-faced merfolk. It's a pretty... Ah, oh, man! Well, at least he was kind enough to turn it into a color that I play instead of making it an island. That screws up my ability to cast my Arkish artillery or Hurlun Minotaur for a while. I was already hoping for a mountain. Now I gotta hope for two mountains. Oh, damn. Damn, that phantasmal terrain's actually effective in screwing me up here. Oh, weak sauce. Weak sauce. But hey, at least right now, we're the only one with creatures on the board, so that's a good feeling at least. That part. That part at least is good. Alright. Onwards we go. Well, eight more turns of this and we'll win. Although I imagine he's probably not going to do nothing for the next eight turns in a row. <laughs> this is dumb. This is dumb in that we don't have anything really going on for turns. Neither of us is casting anything. And I'm just like, poke with the hero. Poke with the hero. Poke with the hero. Get you some leather jug short hair. Bring it on downtown. Bring it on down, bring it on down, take it all the way to downtown. Not a good song. <laughs> uh, well, we need three more mana for that, so who knows if the game's even going to go that far. I, I'm surprised at how little this guy has done. What's your hand just, what? what is your hand full of? What do you have in your hand? Oh, there we go. Now he's doing something. Now, do we want to... Yeah, you know what? Let's go Angry Mob, and we can put a Seeker on it next turn. We can put a Seeker on it. It's only a 2-2, but it'll be a 2-2 unblockable, barring any kind of counter spells or bounce. Oh, now we're starting to get some, some mana. All white, though. Kind of annoying. In we go! Yeah! All right, all right. The Banalish and Wall of Spirits are keeping the Lord. Oop, never mind. Spoke too soon. Um. Uh, yeah, take one for the team, buddy. Get in the way. That's a beefy Lord of Atlantis. Uh, ooh, <laughs> resurrect! Oh, come on, I double tapped there. Resurrection, <laughs> Clockwork Beast, son! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! 
Woo! Now we're looking great. We're looking great. I mean, if I have to, I can put a unstable mutation. Uh, not an unstable, a seeker. Um, I'm so focused on his unstable mutation. I can put a seeker on my um, whatever. I can put a seeker on my Benelish here and, and poke it through. So he's got to be able to stop all three of these creatures, and I don't see that happening. I do not see it happening. Bam, bam, bam. Here it comes, pal. Nope. Don't want to attack with them. Don't want to band it. All right. Hey, I start with the Merfolk in the next duel. That's a nice advantage. That's a nice advantage. Okay, so where do we want to go now? We've got the book. Let's explore more of the map over this way. Oh, Jihad! Oh, God! Oh, I want it so badly. I want it so badly. Jihad. Oh, we've only got one land. No, come on. Don't do me like this, baby. Don't do me like this. Let daddy get his jihad. Oh. Oh, man. That card's so beefy. Give all white creatures plus two plus one. It's dumb strong. Alright. Well, we've got a lightning bolt now for any kind of early threats that show up and we can try and keep the heat on them. Oh, come on. Papa wants a jihad. Papa wants a jihad. Oh, this is going great. Already gone him down to eight, and we have a lightning bolt and a fireball. Admittedly, two lands with a fireball is not that big a deal, but we do have it. Hey, must be the beatdown. Get some! I'm so glad I got the merfolk for this game. Dude, that's awesome. Oh, and it's disenchanted. Not that big a deal, though. I mean, all we got to do is get through with two creatures and finish them with a bolt. So, we're sitting pretty right now. We're sitting pretty right now. Yeah. Yeah, yo. Here it comes. Here. It comes. And don't have a healing solve. Yes. Jihad and a white amulet. Wow, that was amazing. All right, uh, circle red. Yeah, we'll take that. Planes. Dude, it's almost making me want to just start to like trend more towards the straight white, although admittedly the lightning bolt is helping. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. We got two circle reds. Jihad. So good. So good. I've got so many white creatures. Yeah, let's do it. Let's try out the Jihad. Sell the mana short because our funds are low. Let's pick up a little more food. And continue to explore. And look for more opportunities. More opportunities for goodness. Trade white amulets for any enchantments, no thanks. I need my white to protect against enemies. To protect against villages getting taken over, more specifically. Guardian's Ghost. Never mind. Don't care. Don't care about you revealing a deck to me, buddy. Isn't there a priest around here? Oh, more treasure. Another treasure. And another treasure. Hall of the Sultan. Oh, cool! Raging River and a Wall of Opposition. Alright, let's do it. I mean, I can't lose anything anyway, so there'd be no reason not to do it, but... 19 hit points. Okay, he's got way more life than us. But we started 14. That's not too bad. I've gotten a lot of mana links early in this run, and I'm not complaining. Oh, spirit link. I'll complain about that. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Still, it's on a free creature, so whatever. And if he does happen to have any djinns or freaks, I can still destroy those. I'll stop it. Although I guess it could be worse. He could be spirit linking his own beefcakes and messing me up with them, so. There is that. Alright, we got a wall 
Wall of Swords. Not too shabby. So far, the board shaping up fine for us over here. All these done in response to Spirit Link, a couple of creatures. Just put a couple of 1-1s one out of commission. Not really that uh, overwhelming in terms of power. <laughs> oh, it chews them. God, well, I'm glad you put the Spirit Links on my guys at least. And if he does attack, I can just, like, gang block and smoke him, so. But it does mean I'm done attacking. Now I've got to rely on the Juzum to, to kill him. Fast effects. Oh, wait, he's a Jishin. <laughs> uh, yeah. Bang. <laughs> I forgot. I completely forgot. Juzum's so scary, man. I remember, like, people dark ritualing that guy out against me when I was starting magic, and he's just a beefcake. Oh. That giant spider is actually more annoying than the, uh, more annoying than the, the Jin was, because I don't have an ability to tap and destroy him. Uh, alright, let's see if we can lure him into blocking it. Alright, morale. He'll get, he'll get two life off the deal, but we don't lose anything aside from the morale, so... I can live with that. I can live with that. Jade Monolith. Interesting. Alright, well. Let's poke in for the points we can. This is going to be a slow, grind them down kind of game anyways. King Suleiman, you, you earned your pay, pal. Oh, five point hurricane. Yikes, okay. Oh, wow. He took out my wall with that, too. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, well, he's a lower life than us, which makes it less scary when it comes to a hurricane. And we're building up lands for a gigantic uh, fireball, which also feels nice. How much do we got? We got enough for a six-point fireball. So depending on how things go... I'm I'm somewhat afraid to cast a fireball when they have a bunch of mana open and some of that mana is white because you never know when you're dealing with like a reverse damage scenario and to have a fireball reverse damage would be very bad news. Alright, uh, we've only got one white open, let's go for it. Let's try and do a 7 point fireball for the win. Sweet! We won a Raging River! That's a fun card. They have to choose where to put their blocking creatures before, like basically, whenever one of your creatures attacks, each defending player divides all creatures without flying they control into a left and right pile on either side of the river, and you get to decide which side of the river you're gonna attack on, which is admittedly pretty sweet. Go north to Ferenian Steading. Oh, that's super close, I'll accept that quest. I will accept that quest for an amulet. That's for a white amulet specifically. You know what? I will duel you, because sometimes when you lose, you hand over an ivory tower, and I'm totally down. I will risk a seeker to try and win an ivory tower. I'm down for that. I'm down. I wanna be down. Alright. Banalish hero! Oh yeah, this guy's got some beef in his deck. He's got some beef in his deck. Um, yeah, we'll go mess with Pegasus for now. I'm surprised he didn't attack with the Timberwolves. I guess it's just because at the beginning the AI will take it somewhat easy on you when your deck still sucks, so... Thankfully he's going to give me a little bit of breathing room. Oh, come on. Give me that third land. Give me that third land, son. Probably should have attacked with the mess of Pegasus, but whatever. Whatever. I feel like I'm on the defense, even though he doesn't have out anything too, like, beef-tacular. All right, sweet. Sweet. Let's get the ocean soldier rolling. And... That makes me feel a little more comfortable swinging with the Mesa Pegasus. Just a little bit, though. A 
Ooh, okay, uh, let's block you. It looks like we're going to need to hold that mess of Pegasus back and put out more creatures to create like a defensive wall. Because the fact that you can band all this stuff together is, yeah, it's going to get ugly fast. We need to, we need to make him not want to attack us. So, you know what, let's go with the clay statue. Can't regenerate it this turn, but it's power. It's power may be enough to make him double think. Plus, we've got banders, so I can band with one and just let like a bander take it for the team instead. Of course, you can just put them into a big squad, which is not good. You can just attach them all to the War Mammoth with banding and come in like Giganto hard. Giganto hard! Oh, a Crawworm. Wow, he's got so much beef. He's got so much beef. Oh, I wish that we had the six mana for a clockwork. Put out my own version of a Crawworm to keep him off me. I've got to hold everything back. I feel, I feel too nervous. I feel too nervous. What I need to do is just build up a massive wall of creatures that make it not worth it to attack. And then get a Seeker going on. And just put a Seeker on like my Yoshin Soldier or something. Although this War Elephant is a problem, so for that plan to work, we're also going to have to fireball the War Elephant out of the way. Ah! Oh, as soon as I say that, of course... Ooh, hello. You will actually help us a lot. We can start to ping off the birds, and it makes the combat math way more of a nightmare for the opponent, and much, much better for us. There's the Seeker. Okay. There's the Seeker. All right, let's leave it for now. All right, let's start to eat his birds. It'll cost us some life, but it's worth it. Clay statue with the Seekers all right, except the War Elephant's a little too beefy for that to matter. But right now I'm just more interested in putting up such a huge wall that he doesn't want to come at me. Uh, you know what, I feel I feel comfortable enough now to swing with the Mess of Pegasus. Let's do it. I've got enough stuff on the board that swinging in with the Mess of Pegasus feels, feels like it's not too risky. More birds. More birds. Ooh, Clockwork Beast. Yeah, yeah. We've got such a beefcake board now that it's not, it's just sitting there going, oh, I don't think I, I don't even want to deal with it. And we could do like a power swing where we swing with everybody and play a morale later on. But at this point, I probably can swing, actually, with both my flyers and start whittling them down by, like... Oh, shit! A force of nature! God damn. Ah, uh, that's bad news. That is bad news. Oh, why didn't I attack? Oops. Oh, well, whatever. Probably because I'm terrified now that he's got a force of nature on the board, and the thing is massive. All right, let's uh, let's just go the route where let's attack him with these two little wanks in the air. These two little wangs in the air, and then we'll try and maneuver him into the point where we can just fireball him. But I'm pretty sure he runs like healing solves. I could be wrong about that. I'm just gonna play it defensively because I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose at this point. We're looking good. We've got a lot on the board. We've got a lot on the board. Just put, keep putting more bodies on the board. Let the bodies hit the board. Let the bodies hit the board. <laughs> All right, swing, swing. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's bloodlust the bird maiden. And now he's in range for a fireball to finish him off. Oh, the elephant graveyard. He can use that to regenerate his elephants. 
Yeah, I'm glad that, uh, I'm glad we're looking at just blowing his head off with a fireball here. Do we have enough? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six point fireball. Well, let's find out if he has a healing solve. Are we going to pull it off? Do we get the victory? Woo! Yeah! <laughs> oh, we got the ivory tower! Yes! Yes! All right. That is sweet. Uh, you know what? Let's put it in. Let's put it into the deck. And the, the wall of opposition? Why not? Repentant Blacksmith. Another Plains. And a Tundra Wolves. And now we're running a 60 card deck. We've hit the 60 card deck. We have gotten there. Alright, let's go get our white. Uh, let's go get our white. Oh, James Ditome. Oh my god. Oh, dude, I want the James Ditome. Oh, I want that James Ditome. Alright, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. Oh, no. Oh, like, yes! One land, but land tax. Sweet! Oh, wait, no, I have three lands and I'm dumb. Either way, though, this land tax is going to be gross because we're going second. So as long as he makes his land drops, we're going to be laughing. We're going to have zero problems with lands this game. Run to this phase. Do the land tax. Plains, plains, mountain. Dude, that's awesome. Tundra wolves. Land tax is so dirty when you get it at the beginning. Like, if he lays another land, I'm going to get to... Yes, I get to pull three more lands out of my deck. So stupid. So dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, who cares? Who cares if you're discarding a couple lands at the end of your turn when you have so many... And it'll decrease the chances of me drawing lands as I go forwards. Just stripping him out of the deck. And he laid another land. I get to land tax again. Yes, son. Yes. I mean, it in no way guarantees you're going to win. But it feels just so good to trim the lands out of the deck here. All right. Uh, bam. Admittedly, I don't really have a lot to cast, but... That's okay. Because that stuff will be coming. Oh, I didn't see the Massive Pegasus. I'm a moron. I'm a dunce. I'm a dunson. Oh, and he put it down another land. Ooh, Elvish Magi. It can only block, be blocked by walls and flyers. All right, well, we can put out the Massive Pegasus. So that's okay. Let's get our lands out of the deck. We can even... We can even fireball that uh, if we need to. If we need to. Dude. It's so sweet. I've got land drops for days. And he does it again. I get to keep land taxing. <laughs> I can land tax again. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. Land tax is such a dirty car. Land tax it's such a dirty card. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, oh, I probably should have attacked with the Mesa Pegasus there, but that's all right. This is great. This is great. If I had my ivory tower, I'd be laughing even harder. Well, he's still letting me land tax. Are there any lands even left in my deck? Dude, did I strip it? I stripped every land out of the deck. That's fantastic. All right. And how many cards are left? 30? We got plenty of time. We got nothing but time now. Oh, yeah. No lands. We're not going to draw lands for the rest of the game. It's all just It's all just goodness going forwards. All just actual cards. Man, that's sweet.
And we can just keep laying lands until we can do a gigantic yeah. enough fireball to blow his head off. This is awesome. We're going to win us a James Die Tome. We're going to win us a James Die Tome. How many lands do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I can do a 7 point fireball. Make that an 8 point fireball. Alright, so that should do it, friends. And you are out of here! Oh, in a red green duel. Yabba dabba delicious. Okay, let's go. Treasure. And treasure. And reward. Very nice. Ooh, a circle green. We'll put we'll put that away. Oh, and a Samite healer, that can go in the deck. That can go into the deck. Oh, wait, what did that say there? What color amulets was the trade? Green amulets for any sorceries. Yes, sir. Give me another fireball. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, this, this, this episode has been such an improvement in the quality of the deck. It is just absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. All right, and you know what? We should actually have the Mistress Factory in here as well. It's time to ditch the Morales because they're not good enough. They are not good enough. They're okay, but they're really not good enough. Um, what else? You know what? I'm going to put the Shatter in the sideboard for now just because it doesn't come up frequently enough to matter. And I think I'm going to leave the build like th that. And we will save. We're going to save the game effectively. And we're moving on. Saving it, and we will come back in the next episode and continue on the path to glory! I gotta say, I really like the old school Chandelar gameplay. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy getting to do this. I want to keep the I want to keep the the um, the series going. So those of you who were worried that it would kind of fade into obscurity, look, I did like two weeks pretty much of spoilers, but I didn't forget, and I brought you the Chandelar, and I'm gonna keep bringing you the Chandelar. If you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, shut up. I don't care. All right? That's a little bit of a taste of the boss monster for you. Don't know who the boss monster is? Well, you're a fool. You probably do know who he is. Go check out the Boss Monsters channel. It's my second channel. We're having a lot of fun over there. I will put a link at the end of the video. Hop on board. Subscribe to that goodness. Speaking of goodness, let's roll the golden scroll. These are the people of my back on Patreon or through channel memberships. Thank you for supporting my glorious, glorious works. Wouldn't be bringing this Chandelar action to you if I didn't have a channel. And who knows, maybe I wouldn't have stuck around as long if I wasn't getting hooked up that way. I definitely would because I love doing this and you don't have to give me money. But you can give me money and I'll love it. All that being said, it is time for me to depart. To depart. Thanks for being here. And for now, I'm history, baby.